Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial from iPinus. Today, we're gonna go ahead and go dive right into the drag and drop system. So, we're just gonna implement a native JavaScript drag and drop system with no libraries, no jQuery, nothing like that. Just gonna start it from scratch and try to implement something really, really good. So, here's I'm using. I'm gonna use for this for this. Or for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm gonna use CodePen.io for just the sake of simplicity and to make it just faster and do just it can do the job for us. Uh, you can use any code editor, any I don't know, uh, like Visual Studio Code to develop that. But I'm just gonna use CodePen, making it simple, uh, like very simple. So here's like the demo what we're gonna achieve on this particular video tutorial. So here's like the to do items container. So it, it like it holds the to do items, and whenever you take that, as you can see, you can drag it whenever you click it, and the color change, the background color change whenever you are holding that uh, to do item, and you can move it around. And whenever you wanna like put it in into the to do container, you get this highlight into the to do container. So this highlight, this border thing, which shows you where you are going to put this to do items so it's pretty good as you can see here you can just drag it over all of the to do container and it's just gonna give you uh, like an overview or a preview where you're gonna put this to do item and whenever you release that it's just gonna snap right into the right position so it takes this release it, it snaps into the right position so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive you can have like multiple to do items in here from this container just take it and drag it and drop it on this to-do container. So just gonna go step by step on how we can implement this, the drag and drop and everything, all the system. I'm just gonna start working on it from the code bank. So here we're gonna start from scratch. Here I have like an empty JavaScript code. I'm gonna start from the beginning and here's like the our HTML structure. All it does, we have like a container that holds all, it's the main container. Under that container, we have two main containers. So the items container, which is this one, which holds the to-do items. The second one, which is the to-dos container, which has the highlighting thing and uh, which represents our to-dos uh, items container. So uh, each one of these, we have just the header to shows the items and the to-do header. And the second one, we have the to-do item, which is this particular item, which we can uh, actually going to be the target, our target, where we can like drag and drop and place it into into under the to do's container so here we're gonna start I have like a predefined CSS style so you can find this in my uh, like my website under this particular tutorials uh, like the written tutorial so just go ahead under the description you're gonna find the link and you can just go ahead and grab this code or the style if you're really intending to use my style in here for your uh, drag and drop system but you can use your own it doesn't really matter that much but here we can, you can use the same thing. So I have like a couple of things predefined, like container, base container, and yada, yada, a lot of things. So here we're just gonna start by the JavaScript code. So what we need is to reference these two containers, the items container and the to-do container. So if you can take a look into the HTML structure, so we can take and reference them. So here we can use the items container, which equals uh, the document. So document dot get elements by since we are using the ID in here, which is items container. So I'm just gonna say elements by ID. I'm just gonna say items uh, container. The second one we're gonna like uh, reference is the to dos container. So I'm just gonna say to dos container and gonna equals to the document again. Document dot get elements by ID. Uh, you can get the elements by class, but since they have or this since they share the same class name. Uh, this is not really good to use classes for that. So here we are referencing them since we're gonna need them that much. Also, we need to use the to do item or reference it. Uh, but before that, what we need is let's say that we're gonna have like a to do item here. In this case, in this particular one, we have only one to do item. Let's say we have like a, a multiple to do items, and what we need is to just go ahead and a drag or like hover and just puts and drag and drop any item on this list. So we are not going to support only one item, we need to support multiple items. So for that, we're gonna need a loop. And this loop is just gonna go ahead and loop through all the items we're just gonna reference in here, which has the to-do item class. So let's just go ahead and reference that. It's gonna be like the to-do item, and I'm just gonna say document uh, get elements by the class name. So since they share this class, the same class name over there, as you can see in here. So if you can take a look, 
and do the class name we have the to do item class name and if we have like multiple like to do uh, items in here diff containers they're gonna share the same class name which means this function is gonna return us an HTML collection so in HTML collection we can loop through it and we can access each item differently or separately so we can do that and do a for loop and this should this should probably be to do items since we're gonna like reference multiple items at once and here we're just gonna need the for loop so let's i equals zero i less than the to do items dot length and we're gonna have i plus plus and I'm just gonna look through each one of these so here we have got the loop we can now reference the one single item so let me just collapse all of that so we can uh, freely see my code and this very important thing so here we can reference that from this like take this like an array so you can reference it simply as an array a normal array and here we've got one single item so what we need in the jargon dropping normally is we need to check for three major events so three important ones the first one is the click so whenever we click that we register this event or we check for this event the second one is the click and the dragging or the click and the moving mouse moving so this event also is very important the last one is the drop which we just the mouse button or the left mouse button up so we check for this three uh, like major events so let's just go ahead and use that so we can register the events under the items so in here so this one item or this to do item we need to register the event and do that so we can use the add event listener so here we can add an event and we're going to use the mouse down event so mouse down events in here uh we can we can set which events in here you can use mouse down mouse move mouse up Yada yada yada, and the second one is gonna take the callback. So the callback we're gonna like create separate functions for this. So let me just go ahead and create this on mouse uh, down, and the first one is gonna take the uh, JavaScript event. The second one is gonna take our item in there, and I'm just gonna use that and all of that. So this like the three functions that we need on mouse down, on mouse move, and on mouse up. The uh, three of them takes the uh, the same parameters, the events and the item that we are currently moving and here we just add the listener so on mouse down we just run the on mouse down and pass in the event and the item uh, the same for the other ones mouse move and mouse up we just call the function and we are good to go so I just made this very very quickly for the sake of the video tutorial so you should already know how to do things like this in a very basic way so now what we need is on the on mouse down we need to trigger some uh, boolean so let's just go ahead and create this boolean uh, also I've created this mouse offset so I'm gonna need it in here so to offset the actual position so the moving is gonna be like positive so on mouse down uh, is gonna equal to a false so here it's gonna equal to false and here whenever like we are holding the actual uh, mouse down under the elements we are currently trying to move is just gonna be equal to true also if you have remember the effect that when, when we click that we get this really nice effect of the background we just the background changes so make it a little bit looks a little bit user friendly so for that we can go ahead and grab i have like a piece of code in here uh, let me just grab it in there and here we're just gonna change the background color to this color so we're just gonna make it a little, a little bit better now for like holding or keeping track of the offset what I mean by the offset is whenever we click that whatever the mouse cursor is we're just gonna register the mouse cursor position so we can hold it and we can later on whenever we need to move our item around the page is we can use this uh, item offset so here we can use or we can say mouse offset equals new object the x is going to equal to item dot offset left so we can get the offset left and we can minus it from the e dot client x and e client x represent the actual uh, client cursor position or mouse position uh, the x position pretty much and then second one is, one is going to be like the y item dot uh, offset uh, top and just going to be like the minus e dot clients y and we are good to go now this should do the job perfectly for us also what we need into the mouse up is as you can see in here whenever you click that i don't get the uh, on mouse up, I don't get the like the, the original background reverted back into the to do item. So I need to do that. I need to revert the original background. So with that, I have this under the style. So if you can just go into the to do item, I can grab this hex decimal value and I can go in here and say item.style.background. 
uh, color equals uh, this one and we are good to go now here is the main part which is gonna be like the mouse moving now we need to move the mouse around the page so we click we drag and then we drop so for the mouse moving what we need is to make this item follow the cursor which is set this item position into the cursor or the mouse cursor position so for that first we need to check if the actual mouse is holding the actual items so that's why we have declared the mouse down uh, variable so that we're gonna keep track of this so here we go and I'm spelling this wrong so is mouse down so if it's mouse down, now we can move things up. Also, we need to use the e prevent default. This will prevent the default behavior of the uh, the, the currently the clickable uh, elements. In here, we are clicking this one, so we're just gonna prevent the default behavior. Whatever this is gonna be, like a link or something, just gonna prevent anything, any awkward action you don't really expect. So just gonna prevent this. So make sure to you always use this whenever you try to handle some clickable elements. Now here in the, the mouse uh, dev, what we need to do is a style and we say the left. So this is how you change the actual position of an element and also make sure to set the style of this or the position into the elements um, style to from change it from relative to the absolute. So you can uh, like actually change the actual left and top, which represent the left represent the X position of the element and the top represents the Y position of the element. So make sure to trigger that. And here what we can say is e dot client dot x plus the mouse offset dot x. And here we are just setting that. Also we need to use our plus pixels. Why we plus pixels? Because this returns a number, this returns a number, and this takes a string instead of a number. Also this takes a string plus uh, pixels or centimeters or whatever like that. So we're just gonna plus that and concatenating in a string with a number just gonna return a new string. So just gonna assign a new string in there. Also need to take care of the top uh, position so we can say e dot client y plus must offset the y plus pixels and we are pretty much good to go so this will reference the actual mouse y position so here we should be like probably good to go and we can move things up so let me just save things and if we go ahead and like hold things up hold the to do item and drag it over the page we get this really nice draggable uh, effects in here as you can see whatever you drag it over the page we get this really nice event so here we can drag things up also we can drop it but not actually so we can't fully drop it but you know uh, we can we can work with it so to drop it we can only change from is mouse down from true to false so we can just uh, remove the handler of the is mouse down to just set it to false in here now if we try to like move this drop it and here you go now you can drop it out of the mouse and drag it put it whatever on the page uh, position so that was actually guys for this video tutorial also we have like a couple of bugs in here it happens i don't know very awkward bugs things uh it just happens i don't know why so move let me just move item so that was actually guys for this tutorial that was a very simple thing just moving and handling or just covering the uh, actually the dragging the system how it works and just explaining the, the basic stuff and the setup that we need behind the scenes so in the next video tutorial we're just gonna cover the all things that you have seen the demo the snap the highlights how you can just drag this and drop and just gonna snap snap into the right position and yet 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 a lot of things have been or has left for us to do on this particular story. So thank you guys for watching. I really really do hope you enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next video tutorial.